Hello, welcome to the gallery at Valley Art Center. I'm Dan Simone, I'm the gallery manager here, and today it is my very, very great pleasure to guide you through this walkthrough of our current exhibit, Visionaries, celebrating the influential artists who founded Valley Art Center. In case you don't know, 2021 is our 50th anniversary, and we've got an entire year of spotlight exhibits kind of planned around, around exploring our past, present, and future. First in our tour, we see three pieces by Bob Takich. Bob was a watercolor artist who moved to the area after World War II. After graduating from the Cleveland Institute of Art, he worked for the Plain Dealer, American Greetings, and the Colorcraft Corporation. He taught for several local colleges and the Valley Arts Center. He is obviously one of the founders of Valley Arts Center. Along with Nancy Mart, he designed and painted an original mural at the West Side Market the money won from this project was used to fund the building purchase of the VAC building. Next up, we see two watercolors by Jan Mati. Jan Mati became a student of watercolor after moving to Chagrin Falls and finding the Valley Art Center just down the street from where she lived. And currently, she is one of our master watercolor instructors. Working primarily in her home studio, she also teaches and conducts workshops throughout Northeast Ohio. She continually volunteers and contributes to VAC's ongoing programming. An award-winning artist, Jan's work has been selected for exhibition in local, state, and national shows and is one of the original artists who attended the very first year of our Spotlight event every year, Art by the Falls. Next, we have a collection of three pieces by Nancy Mart, who worked as a commercial illustrator and freelance artist. She was a dynamic fixture in the local art scene which grew into the Valley Art Center. Her ideas for the West Side Market mural contest helped to fund the Valley Art Center building when she and Bob Takich won a prize worth $30,000. She's been a very active artist and a community supporter. Next up on our tour, we'll have three pieces by Ann Over. Ann is a talented and respected artist and educator who became a founder of the Valley Art Center. Her art classes were held in various buildings in downtown Chagrin Falls until VAC was formed and able to rent and purchase the building at 155 Bell Street. The pieces on display here are various stereographs, lithographs, and collages. Now we'll come on over here to one piece by Fred Leach. Fred studied at the Butler Institute of Art and the Cleveland Institute of Art and was a member of the American and Wa Ohio Watercolor Societies. He also taught classes at the Valley Art Center. I love the pops of blue that show up in this piece when we lit it. Really, really beautiful composition. Coming around the corner, we see three pieces by Susan Graham, who is also a watercolor artist and teacher who exhibited in many Valley Art Center jury shows as well as Art by the Falls. Next up, we have three pieces by Tricia Common, two oil paintings and one pastel painting. Tricia is a skillful and talented artist and educator whose family has supported the Valley Art Center for decades. She has taught workshops and frequently exhibits in VAC's annual juried art exhibit and Art by the Falls. Tricia displayed her work in the very first year of Art by the Falls, and she has also then participated in, in it for the next four years. So you can see on this piece right here, the glass over it, which is unusual. That's because this is a pastel painting and the surface, if you don't know, pastel is generally like chalk and can, uh, the surface can smudge very, very easily. So it can be a reflective surface. It's tough to get a good shot of. So uh, we definitely encourage you to come by appointment in small groups to view these works in person where you can avoid the glare. Next up, we have two pieces by Clarence Perkins. 
Mr. Perkins was a member of the American and National Watercolor Societies. He worked as a professional artist and designer for the American Greetings Corporation, and he taught at VAC and gave demonstrations and talks. Next up on the side panel, we have four pieces by Florian Lawton. Florian Lawton was an accomplished artist, teacher, and member of VAC's Board of Trustees. His watercolor paintings captured a wide variety of complex landscapes, developing skilled, distinctive brush strokes. He loved sharing his expertise with students and, in fact, was a master who taught many Valley Art Center watercolor artists as well as many of our instructors. He was also part of a group of painters called the Whiskey Painters who focused on miniature watercolor paintings, as you can see on the three pieces on the bottom. And uh, they're called whiskey painters because they used whiskey to dip their brushes in when they were out painting. Uh, in this case, though, Mr. Lawton, if you'll see on the subtexts, has labeled his paintings as whiskey paintings hyphen vodka, because apparently that was his uh, brush dipping of choice. Next up, we have two pieces by Darlene Jackson a founding member and past president pardon me, of VAC. Darlene has taught at Cuyahoga Community College and Valley Art Center. She also is a member of the Ohio Watercolor Society and Whiskey Painters of America. Darlene has won awards in many exhibitions, including at the Butler Museum of American Art. She currently teaches watercolor classes at Valley Art Center. These next three pieces are by Mary Ann Boyson. Mary Ann has been a watercolorist since 1974. She began her career by doing sketches of local landmarks. Then she attempted painting in watercolor, which had been her desire since college. After studying with Florian Lawton, Lowell Ellsworth Smith, and numerous other experienced watercolorists from around the country, she taught painting classes at Valley Art Center and many other Northeast Ohio art centers. This piece right here, coastal colors that you're looking at, really, man, when we hung this and lit it, it just opened up. All these dark, subtle textures in the landscape came popping out, and it was really quite a joy to behold. Our next artist is Dale Harsh. Painting in watercolors some 50 years, he is primarily a landscape painter, although Dale has done various subjects such as florals. He has a fondness for old buildings, which are included in most of his paintings. He has been a member of the Valley Art Center board and a member of the Ohio Watercolor Society. Next up, we have three pieces by Beth Ann Raymond. Beth Ann studied art with George Roby at Chagrin Schools and went on to teach art for many years at Hawkins Schools in Gates Mills, Ohio. A talented mixed media artist, she was a former VAC staff member who helped to secure many fine instructors who still teach today. Next up, we have a small grouping of pieces by Sue Roby and George Roby who are husband and wife. Sue Roby, who did the watercolor paintings and charcoal sketch, is a successful commercial illustrator and painter with a long career, including her work for American Greetings. She was especially known for her skillful watercolor painting of private homes. I'm really personally quite taken with this sketch of the model because it really uncannily looks like one of my sisters. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not. George is a respected potter, sculptor, and Valley Art Center teacher. His work includes large, expressive slab and coil built structures that are suitable for indoor or outdoor exhibit. As you can see in our garden on the side of Valley Art Center, we, we have several of his pieces. He also produces functional stoneware using both hand-built and wheel-thrown techniques. Let's 
such a creative use of glaze colors. Next up, we have a piece by Phyllis Lloyd, a charter member of the Ohio Watercolor Society, Geauga County Artists Association, and the Valley Art Center. Her watercolors show a broad spectrum of techniques and styles from abstract, imaginative realism. Additionally, we, she is uh, one of our named prizes for in our annual juried art exhibit. Next to that, we have two pieces by Lois Toole, a former board member of the Valley Art Center. She is currently on the VAC advisory board. For 15 years, she coordinated the Valley, I'm sorry, she coordinated the Chagrin Valley Chamber of Commerce, Art in the Park, was a founder of the Blue Moon Gallery, and has received two commendations from the state of Ohio for contribution to the arts. Swing around the corner here, and we see three pieces by Peg Stromanger, a talented artist who explored a myriad of mediums and techniques, including watercolor batik and other forms of resist painting. Peg helped establish Valley Art Center's artworks shop in the 1990s. These two pieces that you're about to see are print reproductions of her original pieces. In uh, several cases in, these, in this exhibit, the actual, the artists themselves have unfortunately uh, left us. So we have worked with many family members to uh, secure these pieces. And in some cases, the originals just aren't around anymore. So we have some prints and, uh, and when you come in, you may see that Several of these pieces are not for sale as they are part of the family member's personal collections. Next up, we have two pieces by Joan Russick. Joan has a dual career in fine art and freelance writing. She is an award-winning sculptor and potter and has taught fine art classes and workshops at the Valley Art Center for about 20 years. Her spirited work has been selected in the region's most prestigious juried shows including Gates Mills Art Show, Fairmount Fine Arts, and the Valley Art Center Annual Juried Exhibit. Here we have an interesting collection of historically significant mugs commemorating um, about a decade of Art by the Falls. These are, uh, each one was done by a different artists. We have several artists who are in our ex current exhibit represented here, including Bob Tackage and um, some others who aren't necessarily in this exhibit, but very often uh, work with Valley Art Center, teaching classes and doing other really awesome things with us. We can take a look at this sweet bird bath by George Roby, another example of his outdoor pottery. You can see on the side the different textures he scribes into the clay as well as the different textures he gets from his firing. Last in our tour, but very, very certainly not least, we have three pieces by Tracy Amin. Tracy is a internationally known for her sculpting and double wall pottery, which is a rare form of art dating to the Chinese Ming Dynasty. If we zoom in right here, you can see where there is a, a, a vessel enclosed by this other construction here, and that's what we mean by the double wall. Her art can be found at the Smithsonian Cooper Hewitt Museum, the White House, the Museum of Modern Design in New York, and more. She taught pottery classes at VHC for many, many years.
So there you have it. Thank you very much for joining us for this walkthrough tour. Um, several of these pieces are for sale and can be purchased either in person at our, at our gift shop desk or online at Valley Art Center uh, Current. Um, all of this information will be on our Facebook site and throughout our website. Um, we are about to go into our Fall 1 class session starting on this coming Monday, September 14th. Our hours will be 10 to 4, Monday through Friday. So uh, stop in, say hi, see the work, sign up for a class, and um, thank you for your support.